watched the blockbuster movie Titanic? Well, the movie inspired by the real-life tragedy, the sinking of RMS Titanic in 1912. And if you have watched the film, you must know how the ship sank. It collided with a massive iceberg in the North Atlantic. But today, our story is not about the Titanic, but about a giant iceberg. What you see on your screen is the world's largest iceberg called A23A. It weighs nearly a trillion metric tons and covers an area of 3,672 square kilometers, which is more than twice the size of London. Here's what a scientist from the British Antarctic Survey has to say. If you imagine a giant iceberg, the one um, we're talking about is twice the size of Greater London. They're bigger than countries, so they're massive chunks of ice that are moving through the ocean to places they weren't before. So you're putting this massive expanse of a different material into a place that has not necessarily ever had that before. A23A appears to have run aground after drifting around the Southern Ocean near Antarctica since 2020. It has now stopped near the island of South Georgia, a British overseas territory in the Southern Atlantic Ocean. But before we delve deeper, let's understand what icebergs are and how they form. An iceberg is a large piece of freshwater ice that breaks off from a glacier or ice shelf and floats in the ocean. This process is called calving. Glaciers are constantly moving due to their own weight and gravity. As they move, pieces can crack off and form icebergs. Once in the water, these icebergs are carried by ocean currents and can travel great distances. Icebergs vary in size, from small chunks called growlers to massive tabular icebergs that stretch for kilometers. Icebergs can be dangerous to ships because the complete mass is not visible from the top. Only about 10% of an iceberg is visible above the water's surface. The remaining 90% is submerged. The sharp hidden ice can easily tear a hole in the bottom of a ship. And we already know the story of Titanic. Now back to A23A, the giant iceberg which first broke off in 1986 has been moving since 2020. It was reported to have grounded on the continental shelf near South Georgia on the 1st of March. There were initial concerns that A23A would drift toward South Georgia and block access to feeding grounds for seals and penguins that live on the island. In the past, grounded icebergs have caused large numbers of penguin chicks and seal pups to die. However, these fears have eased since A23A appears to be grounded about 90 kilometers from the island's shore. This has happened now, um, as of a few days ago, um, and fortunately due to the timing, the consequences maybe aren't as bad as people might have expected. Um, the breeding season of most seals and penguins is now pretty much over. Um, so concerns that the iceberg would pose a massive obstacle to the, um, the parents being able to go and find food for um, the chicks and pups is less of a major concern. Interestingly, A23A's presence might even help wildlife. As the iceberg melts, it releases nutrients into the ocean, which can boost food supplies for the entire ecosystem. Then when the ice is melting, it isn't just water that's in the ice, but it contains all kinds of sediments and materials and um, different um, ratios of nutrients. Um, that are also being released into the water, which has a massive impact on life. Um, 
and this can allow different uh, phytoplankton, so the tiny plants in the ocean, to grow, and it provides different food source for bigger things like krill, and then penguins, seals, and whales. Scientists believe A23A's movement is part of a natural cycle in the ice shelf's growth rather than a result of climate change. But climate change is causing other major changes in Antarctica with serious risks for global sea levels. Reports show that glaciers worldwide are melting faster than ever before due to climate change. Mountain glaciers act as fresh water resources for millions of people and hold enough ice to raise sea levels by 32 centimeters if they completely melted. Since the early 2000s, glaciers have lost over 6,500 billion tons of ice, that's about 5% of their total volume. Worryingly, the rate of melting has increased. In the past decade alone, glacier loss was more than a third quarter than it was between 2000 and 2011. As A23A's journey pauses, it reminds us that our planet is always changing and nature never stands still. That's all in this edition of Connecting the Dots. We'll see you next week with more raging issues. Until then, it's a goodbye from all of us in the Delhi newsroom. This is Munman Bharacharya signing off. Take care and stay safe.